Good morning, investigators. I'm a pilot for Mole Airlines, and we have a case that needs to be solved. It is the strange case of Mole Airlines Flight 1023. You should have gotten the paperwork telling you of all of the specs that looks like this. At 6.02 a.m., you and your team of medical examiners are called to the scene of a plane crash. You find evidence of a pre-crash explosion. At the site of the explosion, a material has been found. Subsequent chemical analysis shows 37.01% carbon, 18.5% nitrogen, 2.22% hydrogen, and 42.27% oxygen. It is up to us at this point to identify what this substance is. That is the information there for each of those substances. The mangled passengers are found in and around the crash. They must be identified by the substances found on their belongings or in their bodies since they are not recognizable and their dental records are not available. Upon further investigation, one passenger was suspected of having been murdered before the crash. The time of death was approximated one hour prior to the crash. As far as the crew on board, there's some personal data, which in your paperwork can also be found here. I'll review that now. We have Amadeo Oldera, who has a heart condition. Connie Majors, a pharmacist. Jim LeClaire, who's a baker. Archie Starr, a teacher, also addicted to sugar-free drinks. Bob Reno Henderson, professional athlete, just suspended for drug violations. Lisa Johnson is an environmental engineer, severely depressed. Bill Cadillac Jackson is a suspected drug dealer. Norm Anderson, a suspected leader of a terrorist organization. On, for each of the passengers who remain unidentifiable, there are substances found and we were able to identify the percent of each element in each of those substances and indicate where they were found. For example, humans with the last name F through U, please report to the PAC for picture retake. Sorry about that interruption. But for example, passenger one, um, in his or her blood could be found, I can't really read it from here, 67.31% carbon, 6.98% hydrogen, 4.62% nitrogen, and 21.10% oxygen. So what we need to do is we need to get to the formula of that compound, and there's a way that we can do this. And to do this, we have to follow a series of steps, and you'll have to follow these steps for each of these compounds. Um, in passenger two, there were two substances found, one on the face and one in the stomach. Passenger three, there were 2,000 tablets of something found in the pockets. Passenger four, um, there was a substance found in the blood and in the pockets. Passenger five, there were two substances, one in the blood, one in the pockets. Passenger six has something in his or her pockets. Passenger seven, uh, two items found in pockets. And passenger eight has two items found in pockets. Our possible substances are listed below. It looks like we have codeine, cocaine, aspirin, aspartame, vanilla, trinitrotoluene, nitroglycerin, curare, thiobromine, strychnine, diametocrine, acetaminophen, and some notes of what each of those are. So let me show you the process of finding out how to take these percentages and turn them into formulas. And to do this, we use a poem. The poem is, and I will use my poetic stance, percent to mass, mass to moles, 
divide by small, multiply till whole. Let me show you how to do this. We're going to take the first substance found in the blood of passenger one. And what we have to do is assume that we have 100 grams. So if we have 67.31% carbon, we have 67.31 grams of carbon. We have 6.98 grams of hydrogen. We have 4.62 grams of nitrogen. And we have 21.10 grams of oxygen. So we've taken our percent and turned it into mass. The next part of the poem, mass to moles, we have to convert each of these to moles. And to do this, we use the molar mass and a conversion factor with unit cancellation. The molar mass of carbon is 12.01. So one mole of carbon is 12.01 grams. The molar mass of hydrogen is 1.01. .01. So one mole of hydrogen has a mass of 1.01 .01 grams. The molar mass of nitrogen is 14.01 .01 grams in one mole. And the molar mass of oxygen is 16.00 grams in one mole. Now to complete each of these problems with unit cancellation, dimensional analysis, factor label method, your units cancel, so grams cancel. Anything on the bottom gets divided, so it would be 67.31 divided by 12.01 .01 equals 7.31 divided by 12.01 .01 equals, that number is clearly not right, 67.31. Students and staff, this is the last call for anyone who needs their picture retaken. Last call for any student or staff member who needs to have their picture retaken, please go to the PAC at this time. A good idea, a good, good thing it's the last call. All right, uh, the answer is 5.60 moles of carbon. 6.98 divided by 1.01 .01 equals 6.91 uh, moles of hydrogen. 4.62 divided by 14.01 .01 equals 0 0.33 moles of nitrogen and 21.10 divided by 16 equals 1.32 moles of oxygen. Okay, so I have just percent to mass, take your percentage and turn it into grams, convert to moles, mass to moles, divide by small. We want to identify which of these, I'll wait till it catches up to me, which of these um, is the smallest number and it appears that this is the smallest number. So we're going to divide each of these by that. Divided by 0 0.33 equals divided by 0 0.33 equals divided by 0 0.33 equals 1 divided by 0 0.33 equals. So on the top, 5.60 divided by 0 0.33, um, I get approximately 20. 6.91 divided by 0.33 is um, it is 20.9, so I'm going to round it to 21. This is 1. 1 1.32 divided by 0.33 equals 4.
chemical formula for this substance is C20, H21, N, O, C20, H21, N, O4. If I look at my list of compounds, um, I do not see one on there. I think that I may have done something wrong on the first one. This is embarrassing. Five, um, 67.31 divided by 12.01 equals 5.6 divided by 0.33 equals, mm, here's my mistake, it was 16.98. You can see how easy it is to make mistakes and how this can get somewhat frustrating. This may happen to you. It just happened to me. All right, so this is 16.9. It's going to run into 17. So the formula is actually C17, H21NO4. And that is oh, cocaine has been found in the blood of passenger one. Right there. C7, C17, H21, N04. So the goal with this activity is to use this process to determine, sorry I had an itchy lip, to determine what substances are found on each of the passengers and to hopefully identify who those passengers might be. As I look at this, the person with the cocaine in his or her blood, I'm suspecting one of the crew or passengers that are involved with drugs. This is a sus just a suspicion at this point. So the last part of the poem, multiply till whole, you may end up after you divide by small, you may end up with a number that's, that ends in 0 0.5, 1.5, 0 0.5. What we would have to do then is double everything to get a whole number. If any of the numbers end in 0.33 or so, what you have to do is take all of the numbers and triple them. So we multiply this number until it's whole. I will help you as you're working on this, and hopefully we can crack this case. Good luck.